feel as if Ellie and I and whatever is happening up there on the canvas, which I don't have to look at, you know, that the three of us, maybe there's more than three of us, are in on this, this um, process, that's a sort of cold word, I don't mean that, this circle together, okay? This is a process where when I finish a painting, you finish a poem, it is something that's never been it's in the right. world before. Right. And right. it's such a wonderful feeling right. that yes. this yes. never existed right. and I right. made it yeah. happen. And uh, so I feel as if I'm part of the process, just like the tree is part of the process when I'm writing a poem about, you know, about the tree. The tree um, impinges the tree isn't just passive. The tree impinges on my consciousness in a certain sense. It's saying, look at me, I'm this tree, or I'm this, or and, and the tree is interacting with whatever is going on, whatever nonsense is going on in my head at the time, whatever. You know? So I feel, I feel like that. I was just thinking, of what, I was very excited about Hamlet Dunn, especially by Ellie, because she's really good. Um, but then it was also a little scary because you look at your face 4,000 million times in the mirror and you often see things differently than what other people and how they see you. Ellie and I discussed it, what kind of pose and she knows I am crazy about miniatures and so uh, the idea kind of came and I think Ellie said you know about picking out a particular chair from my collection and then using that same chair in reference to uh, the poser sitting on it. I'm sitting on the chair that I'm holding, basically. And um, it also made me think too, uh, when I was sitting here posing, that would, would this chair really be comfortable? Because of course I couldn't sit in it. <laughs> and how, you know, uh, what is the relationship between a chair or a piece of furniture or something to the artist or the poser or uh, whatever. And I thought about a lot of those little weird things while she was drawing me. It's a nice, has a nice warmth, even though it's just a charcoal, no colors. I like it. Mm -hmm. It's a nice design. Yeah. She set it up nicely, a good pose. Yeah, David was a very, very um, professional and business-like about modeling, very cooperative, trying to uh, fulfill whatever expectations I had of him to sit still and so on. And then for me, this, uh, the drawing presents him as someone who's very solid and confident about what he's doing and like, uh, has a a very good relationship with his art, uh, a very confident relationship with his art. And I, I like that about it, that he looks so relaxed and as though he's... Now, we have to remember that the, the clarinet isn't finished. So in this drawing, in the painting, we'll see the clarinet. <laughs> and the more I did with... Uh, artwork, the more I started understanding the language of, uh, of the visual artist, the paint, the texture, uh, the emotional impact of one color next to another, sizes, rhythms, and I think that it um, enriched my music making as, as well. Um, it uh, helped me with teaching, with finding analogies. Um, I mean, it's always good to have a vocabulary that, that is a little wider when you explain a certain idea to a student and he doesn't get it. It's good to uh, be able to have a totally different set of uh, imagery to um, make the point. It was almost like a meditation, um, having to sit still for so long. Um, I think 
somehow the body kind of settled into a, an alpha state and I started reflecting a lot on, on my life. And then we engaged in some, in some really terrific um, conversation and we got to know each other very well. So it was um, um, a tremendous experience. You know, the, um, being a creator myself, um, a, a creative artist myself, I think that, um, I think what turns us on as creative artists is the vibrations we get from our work and from other artists. And I know that I took away a lot of wonderful vibrations from our sessions because of, um, I think it was very, very stimulating for me. Um, the only thing is I was kind of in a twisted, a little bit of a twisted pose, and that became difficult a little bit, having that twist. Um, and so there were times where it was difficult. Um, at first it was fine, and there'd be a point where I just felt like I had to move the other direction. Um, but again, I think that just the uh, having to be still and having to focus was really a good experience. It's always interesting to look at even photos of oneself, I think. And uh, I think it's interesting to look at the drawing. Um, but I do like it, and I do think it has a quality, um, a kind of um, serene quality. As I've gotten older, it's become easier to just say, oh, here I am. And so that's it. And Ellie and I had great conversations while we were doing this. So I would kind of zone into a space, and then we'd talk for a little bit, and then I'd zone into the space again. So it was, it was nice. Actually, it was really great because I didn't, it was only my time and Ellie's time. And so there wasn't any other interruptions. And that was what was so wonderful. For Ellie to say, can you do this? I think you're important to the arts community is very flattering. And that's how, that's why I wanted to do it, among other things. I mean, the fact that I like Ellie's paintings and that um, it's a group of artists and arts administrators. And people don't always connect how important the arts are to a community. Also, I think it's important that a community have some kind of a record of, at this time, in this moment, these people contributed to society. And, and maybe our role is slightly minor, although I happen to think that artists are very important. But not all people know that. And so let's have this little bit of record of what, in 2001 and 2002, this is what's going on. These are the people that are here. I was looking forward to it. Um, when Ellie suggested it, I was very enthusiastic about it. Uh, I think I've reached the time in my life where I, I wanted to, uh, I want to have a legacy, and, and, a, and I've always looked at art as history, or if, uh, then I'm ready to be part of history. So I thought, uh, as I'm getting older, that, that this is a nice legacy. So I was very enthusiastic about uh, being part of the program. Well, when uh, I walked in and Ellie seated me, first of all, she made me very comfortable. So I thought, well, this is not going to be bad. This will be a pleasant experience uh, sitting here, because I didn't know how long it would take. But we got into a lot of conversations about art, history, uh, politics, and um, horses. So the time flew. In fact, I, I would be ready to sit for a few more hours. <laughs> we, I really enjoyed the experience. So it uh, was different than what I thought it would be. Not that I wasn't looking forward to it, but sitting still for a couple hours um, is a challenge, but it wasn't. It was a lot of fun. Are you posing again now? Yeah, well, oh, okay. Just, just for the video part. Oh, okay. for a couple yeah. minutes. That's good. Yeah. Uh, that's good. And then I should take a picture of you, too, at the same time. Oh, that's nice. Let's see, so then we'll, do, we'll get our photography out of the way. Okay. Because uh, all right now, let's get you back in pose. Drop your chin a little bit. And uh, was your, were your fingers weren't spread apart like that? Do you remember this? 
Yeah, just pull it back, pull your hand back to where it's comfortable. That's it. That's it. Right here. That's where it was. And don't bring it quite here. Your hand's more that way. Yeah. Good. Now, what were you find what you were looking at? About like that. Uh, and drop your chin a little bit. Actually, that's how Ellie and I met, as I posed for her art class at the art center, and then we became friends after that, and, and we have a lot in common, so I think that's why we kept in touch. So I was honored that she asked me to be a part of this, and thought it was a great idea, and um, I'm happy with the portrait. It came pretty easy since I had already posed for Ellie, so um, just seeing yourself painted is it's a different feeling since you're an artist and it's just it's cool to see other people's styles and how they perceive you i feel as if 